Hey guys and welcome to Red Alert, the place for newbies, indies as well as low budgeters. Today guys we're going to be talking about how to make the perfect, easy and sleek looking explainer slash animation type video before you click off, hear me out. You see animations and explainer animations all over the place in your life, whether it's a small business using video animations to put out a little ad talking about what their business is about and explaining to viewers or audience members and potential customers what they actually sell and how they sell it. You see it on various YouTube channels, for example ones that are like to watch are geographical channels like Real Life Law who use explainer type animations to explain their script in a more fun and interesting way than just having a guy like me sit here and talk to you. Explainer animations are also really cool in order to use for high school as well as university projects, especially when you want to use it for educational purposes because it's easy to just plug in your information and have that flow in a way where the audience or the professors, whoever you're showing it to, can actually see it and understand it in a more, you know, cohesive way. So normally for VFX artists like ourselves, explainer videos and animations aren't really a big deal. You know, you'd hop into something like Hitfilm Express or After Effects, create a couple of planes, animate them, essentially like a bigger lower third, add some text and Bob's your uncle. But the problem with that is that it takes quite a while to actually do it and you'd have to create an individual slide for each you know, segment of the video and that can take a lot of time. I know before myself in the past, there's been multiple occasions where I wanted to create, you know, little bits of animation and I had to go into HitFilm and spend hours only to create a five second clip that it was gonna be a throwaway thing in a part of a project I was working on, maybe for school or something, university, things like that. And you don't necessarily wanna spend all of your time doing that because that's unproductive, especially if it's a tiny project that you could get away with, with just using something like a template. So that's where the sponsor of today's video comes in, Blue Effects. When they reached out to me, I was extremely excited because seeing their actual products, it it, it changes the way that you are, you can make explainer videos. Now, normally what you would jump to is After Effects, Hit Film, or something like that. You wouldn't necessarily consider Microsoft PowerPoint to be a viable option in order to create an explainer video for. And I mean, rightly so, Microsoft PowerPoint is what all of the old people in our society use in order to create, you know, basic boring slideshows. And yet you are forced to use in school in order to give a bit of a presentation with that group that you really hate to work with. But seeing Blue Effects' products and their Microsoft PowerPoint templates, which allow you to create explainer of videos and animations in seconds, it actually blew my mind and that's why I was so willing and excited to, to actually work with them and talk to you guys about it. So BlueFX's templates for Microsoft PowerPoint actually work with Apple Keynote as well if you're on the Mac side of things, although in this video we're going to be talking about the Windows side of things. And they look like real animations that you probably created spending hours in After Effects even though you literally opened the program, clicked something and changed the text which I will show you guys in a bit and it literally took you seconds and you have an animation video. It's it's actually crazy that you can do what they're actually doing in Microsoft PowerPoint. PowerPoint. So let's hop over to the desk, which I'm already at, but let's switch angles. And then I'll show you the website and show you how this PowerPoint animation works. And you guys can see for yourself how crazy this actually works. I, I let me just show you. So here we are on the Blue Effects website. And right off the bat, you can see up here, it's organized into the various different, um, you know, products that they actually have. So if we click on AE templates, for example, it's gonna open up the page that has all of the animated, um, you know, After Effects templates. They also have a couple of freebies over here, like animated social media icons, you know, PowerPoint logos, and you know, things like that. You can click on the freebies tab over here and you can see 15 different freebies that they have completely free to download. So even if you don't wanna buy anything you can download that but the one that we want to actually look into is over here under the explainer tab so under the explainer tab what they essentially have is a whole bunch of different explainer type packs that you can use in order to create these animations and videos so this these are ones that are in after effects but if we type in whiteboard over here and click on the search bar we can pull up all of their whiteboard explainer videos which is the one i'm really most interested in that i want to show you guys today so before we dive into powerpoint and actually examine how this template actually works and why it's so easy and i'm talking about seconds to create um you know an animation let's take a look at what it actually contains. So it has different characters, hand-drawn characters, social media icons, different elements. Um, it's got pre-made stories, for example, that you can play around with. And also it's compatible with sort of any software. You know, it opens in any type of uh, Microsoft PowerPoint version, I'm pretty sure. Um, and you know, it includes music, it includes full HD resolution, you can change the colors, you have a money-back guarantee, you know, etc., etc. These are just the basic things that this website offers. It also has an unlimited license, which means you buy it once, then you can use it 
it as many times as you want for any type of project you want, whether your video is going on a cinema screen or whether your video is for a client that's paying you, anything goes. But once you download the pack, you'll be presented with this file and after you unzip it, you will have the whiteboard explainer PPT folder. And if you open it up, you'll essentially have a couple of folders. Here's the keynote project, which works obviously with Apple. And then we have a tutorial. Now, if you click this, you'll be provided with a full 30 minute video tutorial, fully explaining how to actually use this PowerPoint, um, you know, template. Now I'm going to be going over a few basics on how to use it in this video. But if you guys do buy this, you will get a full tutorial in this actual pack that gives you the full breakdown in extreme length and detail of how to actually use it. So you won't be left in the dark. So if we open up the PowerPoint project, essentially what we have here is um, four slideshows. And on these slideshows, you'll use all of them in order to create your own story within the actual PowerPoint. And then we also have the pre-made story, which I'm not really going to talk about right now. But if you open these, you can sort of just play around with it and see a sort of pre-made pre -made narrative that they do provide you with. And there's two of those. So let's see how this actually works. We can click on the main start here one, which is sort of the main file. And when PowerPoint essentially launches, what you want to do, which is really important, is click enable editing. This will allow you to sort of um, enable you to, uh, you know, adjust the file. And then the second thing is macros have been disenabled. Now macros is actually what they use in order to make this so versatile. So you want to click enable content. And after that, you're ready to go. So this doesn't look like a lot. Essentially, we have the first slide, which we can essentially go ahead and just hide or delete the slide actually, because um, that slide is kind of useless. And then we have this slide. Now this slide is the main slide that you will be able to duplicate multiple times in order to create your whole story. So example, if I want to have 10 slides, I will just click this, right click it and click duplicate and duplicate it a few times so that I have actually, you know, 10 slides in my project. But what are we actually doing with the slide? Now, that's where the other PowerPoint um, slides in the actual folder come in, the animated characters and design elements one. So let's say we're going to start our story, okay? And let's say, for example, we want to have a sort of floor over here for all of our animated characters to stand on because that's the main step that, uh, you know, you maybe want to have. And so, for example, what we'll do is we'll go over here and we'll click on the design elements PowerPoint and launch that up. And once that launches, we'll again click enable editing. And then we have all of these different design elements that we can use and import. And as you can see, they are really high quality and you know, they are HD in resolution. So like I said, we want to make a floor for our characters to stand on. So if we go right over here, we have a variety of different lines to choose from. So let's say I want to do this line over here. And this is where the extreme, you know, speed comes in. So let's throw a timer on screen right now. And let's start it when I start working and I'm going to show you how quick it is to actually have a first animation. So let's start the timer now. What I'm going to do is I want to I want to take this floor. So I'm going to right click it and I'm going to click copy. Then I'm going to go back to my main PowerPoint and on the first slide, I'm going to paste it. Then I'm going to put, uh, organize it or sort of move it to the bottom over here and I'm going to have it here. Now it just appears. So in order to actually animate this, I'm going to go to motion. And then with this selected, I'm going to click on drag right and immediately this hand appears. And so if I click the hand over here, I can drag him to the side so that his finger is sort of over here. And now just like that, as we can see what seconds on the clock, let's stop the timer and then let's go to home and uh, actually no, let's go. Where is it? Where is it animations? And let's click preview just like that. If we click on full view, as we can see, a finger just appeared and did that. And it took how many seconds? That's what I'm saying. And you don't even need to do that. For example, if we undo this whole thing, you know, we can undo this whole thing and we click on the floor and we go into motion and we can talk, we can talk about draw line on, right? Now you think, what did that do? Let's click and see. That's magic. <laughs> Like I'm legitimately excited, not even because they have reached out and want to sponsor this video. The fact that you can do that in, I don't know how many seconds that timer showed, but it was really way less than spending hours to do that in hit film or After Effects. The fact that you can do that in that many seconds is insane. So let's keep going with this extremely simple way of life um, that we've discovered. Let's go into the um, characters slideshow and let's open it up. 
And over here, I'll click Enable Editing. Here we have a variety of different characters. We have a guy with all these different expressions. Here we have him, maybe we have Clark Kent over here, which I'm definitely gonna be using, of course. Um, here we have a whole bunch of things all relating to business, for example. Here we have him working. Here we have him flying. Here we have a lady doing things. So we have, you know, the female side of things. And um, let's go into the animated side. We can click on this track. And here we have a few animated um, things. So if you click this one and you click play, uh, we can see that it's all animated. And so, um, you know, these are also things we can use. So let's um, go into the characters one. And let's use uh, Clark Kent over here. We'll click him, we'll click Control C to copy him. And then let's go back to our main slide. Back in the main slide, let's click Control V and paste him. We can arrange him over here. Let's put him a bit up. Let's have him resting on our floor that we created. And then let's add an animation. So let's say I want him to come in from this way. So let's say drag right. And then let's just position this hand. So it is maybe over there. I like that. All right. And then what we can do is we can go back to the slide and we can sort of play through this and just see what we just did. First the line appears. Then our clock can comes in again. <laughs> I'm giddy like I'm legitimately giddy at how quick this is And for example if we go to the next slide and we want to add something else Maybe we want to have a uh, couple of bit of text and we'll talk about maybe a time for example We click the clock we'll click Control C to copy it and we'll put it over here and let's see we want to have an intro animation to this maybe we want to have uh, a Drag up animation. Let's put the guy's hand over there and you know so essentially when we preview this um, we can see how you know we have this slide which is our first slide then we have the next slide and we have this clock animation and there's the clock over there we can even add some text over here let's add a text box let's add a text box over here and we can type in time is money we'll highlight it we'll click on a font i like abyss make it big move this box over here then we want to add a money emoji or money uh, you know clip art in let's go click the money Control c let's go back into our main whoops into our main slide let's copy it over here and let's put it over here and for the motion of the money let's say we want to do um, let's say drag left in right and let's move this guy's hand a bit up and down and let's go to the beginning and let's go to slideshow from the beginning and let's see what we just did here we have the line being drawn our floor our man comes in we could have some text over there also let's go to the next one time is money boom uh, boom we have that obviously you can animate the text as well you can have it do whatever you want this is just a rough demonstration as i said if you do purchase this you do get a full-on tutorial explaining how to do things but essentially the versatility that this type of thing provides you is insane and again i'm not just saying that because they're sponsoring this video because this company uh, it's quite insane the fact that they can do this in a software like powerpoint the fact that i've created a mini story in a few seconds in the minutes that you've watched this video i've created two slides that would have taken me 30 40 minutes inside of hit film it doesn't matter how good you are doesn't matter how much of an expert of a VFX artist you are, it would have taken you at least 30 or 40 minutes to do this in something like After Effects or Hit Film. You can change the colors, you can change the fonts, you can change the animations, all in this in a few seconds. And you can use this to create, you know, projects for high school, projects for university, um, demonstrations you can make yours stand out what everyone else is going to come with to class is a basic powerpoint presentation and what you have here with this template is the ability to use the same template multiple times over whether you're getting paid to do it or whether you're doing it for something like school and have your powerpoint and your presentation stand out from everyone else's and that is extremely valuable. I know I'm definitely gonna be using this in my future, whether it's for clients, uh, which I don't really have, or whether it's for university, which I'm currently busy with, and which I can see this being a real asset to me in the future. Anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Definitely check out that company, Blue Effects, in the description, and check out their whiteboard explainer video. You can get this for After Effects as well. And check out all of the other templates. They have lower thirds, they have intros, they have, uh, 
you know, digital marketing kits, all sorts of things. Check them out in the description. And uh, yeah, tell me guys what you think in the uh, comment section down below. Tell me if you found this useful, if you find this pretty cool, because I do. Um, leave a like on the video. Follow me on Twitter for all of my little bants and little, you know, uh, opinions that I like to share over there. And uh, yeah, tell me what you guys want to see next, and I'll see you in the next one.